Play action. Brown taking a shot downfield, and it is intercepted. And it's Grant Haley on the return, weaving his way inside the 20. And a flag is down. He's holding on. Then it'll be declined. Watch the end of this throw. Pretty good protection. The ball sails high. And the intended receiver, Henderson, didn't even reach his arms up. He thought the ball was being thrown to somebody behind him. And an easy interception to start the game for Penn State. As Barkley comes back into the backfield. Quick pass, quick score. Mike Gasicki from Trace McSorley. McSorley, last year's Big Ten Championship game MVP. Money for James Franklin in the game. Third and nine, Brown. Threw it to the outside and incomplete as he was looking for Reuben Flowers. Third and seven, McSorley. Tried to go on a crossing pattern underneath to Johnson, but it was overthrown, so Penn State will be punting away. Second and three. Brown able to handle that. And then gets it complete to Arojo Lopes for a first down for the Panthers. Good after the timeout for Pitt. Here's pressure now from Penn State defense, and they're able to get to Max Brown. It was Grant Haley. Had the interception earlier, and now the sack on third down. Nick Sorley on the quarterback run, hits a seam, and look at him go! Trace McSorley, jump play, Penn State. Get about Gasecki. And here he is on another RPO, picking up the block and into the end zone. DeAndre Tompkins paving the way with the block there. Gasecki's gonna come across, looks like he's gonna block for the run. That's an RPO, the offensive line was blocking run. And that's Trace McSorley reading it with Kasicki and turning it into a touching touchdown pass. Wilson back in the game and running back for Pitt. As Henderson has nowhere to go. They love the jet motion to try to get him into space, but there was no space with Koa Farmer tracking and Torrence Brown in action. Third down and three. Moss, patient, extra effort should earn him the first down. They give underneath to Olison, and he is able to convert. Good looking play call from Sean Watson. And Quadri Henderson. Here he is in motion, play action off of it. Pressure again on Brown. Sharif Miller with a sack. In third and 22. Brown with time over the middle, and Chris Clark had it for a moment, but then Marcus Allen came in incomplete. Completely agree. Second and four. And there's an example of it. Hamilton again. Nice cut to get extra yardage. Deshaun Hamilton, who came in 15 catches away from breaking the school career reception record. See, as soon as Trace McSorley sees that they have a extra defenders committed to the box to stop the run, he knows he has one-on-one -on -one situations on the outside. McSorley pressure right up the middle. As he throws it at the line of scrimmage. The pit defense did a real good job that time. Order where they need to be at this point. Second and five. Brown with time and gets it complete. That was a good look to Aaron Matthews and a first down for Pitt. Pressure, A-gap. They pick it up. Brown downfield. And the ball is intercepted by Troy Apke. Another pickoff for the Penn State defense, Troy Apke. Third and eight, as Pitt shows some pressure. They run an inside stunt, off the edge, coming in and crashing down was Hendricks. Third and six. Moss straight ahead, first down. Good work from Shantez Moss. Second and three. As he gives to Hall, and Hall able to get past that first would-be tackler. You see that 0 for 2 under the line of Alex Kessman. Very strong leg. But the redshirt freshman had a struggle in his first game last week. This is a 28-yard attempt. And that's got to feel good for the young man. Westerville, Ohio. 
And here's the modern day great Saquon Barkley, 11 yards on that carry just over a minute to go before the half. Penn State with one timeout remaining so far. McSorley going to step up and launch it downfield. Batted and picked off by Dane Jackson. That thing was floating for a moment with a whole lot of chance to cash in on. Opportunities, and then you got a couple big stops. Here's Saquon to the outside where he's so capable. Here he is again. And a first down for Penn State, just like that. Two carries and already past midfield. That never had a shot. Great penetration by Salim Brightwell. And their experience. Play action on third and two. Brown looking over the options, and it's incomplete. Hold these stars in check. Nick Sorley with time over the middle. Saquon Barkley, touchdown, Nittany Lions. He's going to slip right out and run right by Brightwell, the linebacker. There's no safety help in this coverage. He's the number three receiver to the field. The throw to Garrity in the championship game in the Sugar Bowl. Here's Brown now. To the near nice side good and time. able to get run. that complete to Jester Wea. How explosive this Penn State offense is. Three points just don't do you much good. The jet motion really opened up things for Olison and he takes advantage inside the 30. Good hard run by Quadri Olison. Brown to the end zone. Incomplete. Kessman. After 0 for 2 last week for the redshirt freshman kicker, now 2 for 2. Indiana went for 181 yards that night. Third and 13. McSorley going to tuck, try to get back. But Elijah Zeiss was waiting on him for the Panthers. Pressure off the edge. Brown goes down. Sharif Miller. Buckholtz and the guys getting to Max Brown. Barkley now on the other side as he dismisses defenders. McSorley. And waiting on it was Pope. Right at the 10 yard line. Barkley lowers the shoulder and lowers the boom right into the end zone. This is it right here. Power. The ability to run through tacklers and take that ball into the end zone. He's fast, he's elusive, he has great vision, and he has tremendous power. Showing an edge blitz with the safety there, and Olison on the shovel, and that was well timed. Quadre Olison. Aaron Hall now, as this has been a steady diet of that same look. That's Matt Flanagan as he rolls ahead. Made his presence felt. Here he goes. Danucci with the cut and with the score. One and done. Into the end zone. How about it, Ben Danucci? In the shift to the outside. Watch Farmer bite on the ball fake. Danucci pulls it out, has to make one more guy miss, which he does. That's Tariq Castro Fields, number five. Danucci shovel pass. Olison. Yeah, and they're giving it to him. Watch Alex off the surf. Leads that play. Ben Danucci comes in, gets the chop done on two plays. That's pretty productive two plays. And how about the shovel pass on that scoring drive for Ben? Second and seven. Here he is on the other side. And unable to escape Idowu. Well, that's a heck of a play by Idowu. Time for McSorley. Great effort to stay with it with Deshaun Hamlin. 
Hamilton. And had a ball thrown at him here. They throw to him this time, but he was covered by Zeiss, who doesn't let go. Close up that cut. Here's the shovel pass. It's an incomplete pass. It's an incomplete pass. That's the benefit of running it. That if it falls innocuously, no worries. For Gilligan, pin that punt for Penn State. Is that a safety? Mighty close. Yep. Yes, it is. The Penn State defense. Marcus Allen, his 11th tackle of the game, and scored two with it. Being more involved in the running game this year is going to be big for Penn State. Here's Gasicki with a block out in front from Hamilton, splitting those receivers who were finding work downfield, Tompkins and Hamilton. And into the game comes number two, Tommy Stevens, number two receiver to the near boundary side, now in motion. He's the backup quarterback, so look for something there. And there he is, Stevens, as he gets maybe a half yard. Tyler Davis on for the 24-yard attempt. Young man who at one point earlier in his career made 18 straight field goals, a school record. Adds more to this Penn State lead. Fourth down here. Danucci is going to tuck it and try to run for it, and he gets it. Good physical athlete still yeah. breaking tackles as it was Bowen who had to ride him down. And you see his ability. Steps up, checks down underneath here. As he's able to get it again to a Rojo Lopes. Penn State and it finished up the way they did last year. It's a good run now this time by Moss. Well, you expect them to step on the field. They got a little swagger. They expect to win. They've got confidence. And there's a pass and a catch from Danucci to Wea. Those shovel passes. They haven't seen one for a minute. Instead, he's wrestled down by Koa Farmer. Fourth and goal. Danucci after the timeout. And he fumbles the ball as he was going down there, but it wasn't going to matter. Should have just slung it to the end zone. There was a lot of offensive power in this game. We were referring to the Q quotient. We had a lot of guys with the Q out there as Penn State will take it 33 to 14.